Another day, another story. From the last of the seven wonders of the world left standing to a presidential gaffe that inspired a huge new project, these are only a few of the incredible historical places worth exploring in Egypt. Don't miss the opportunity to learn about these pyramids, temples, and houses. Welcome to Tarbo Eminent Channel. Earlier versions of the descriptions of these buildings first appeared in 1001 Buildings You Must See Before You Die, edited by Mark Irving, 2016. Writers' names appear in parentheses. 1. Step Pyramid of Djoser. Though there are many mastabas, flat-roofed, mud-brick, rectangular buildings used as burial tombs, and 17 pyramids in the ancient Egyptian necropolis of Saqqara, the most notable building is the Step Pyramid of the Third Dynasty Pharaoh Djosa, sometimes spelled Zosa. The Step Pyramid is the oldest complete, hewn stone building known. It was designed by Amhotep, the first architect and physician known by name in written history. He is thought to have been responsible for the first known use of columns in architecture, and he is recognized as the founder of Egyptian medicine. 2. Bibliotheca Alexandrina The idea of rebuilding the Bibliotheca Alexandrina was first launched in 1974 after visiting U.S. President Richard Nixon asked to see the ancient library of Alexandria, which had disappeared some two millennia earlier. His gaffe prompted one of the truly grand public projects of the 20th century. One in competition by the young Norwegian-based architectural and design office of Snohta, the funding came from patrons as diverse as UNESCO, the country of France, and Saddam Hussein. From afar it looks like an obliquely tilted solar disk. A grille of aluminum panels functions like the Mashrabiya screens over the windows of traditional Egyptian houses, with deftly incised north-facing clerestories that allow in daylight without glare. 3. Mausoleum of the Aga Khan One of the most visited monuments in Aswan is the Mausoleum of the Aga Khan, a small square building with turrets at its corners and a fan staircase leading to the entrance. Inside, housed under a domed structure, lies a tomb carved from one piece of white Carrara marble. The building's popularity lies not only in its simple architectural beauty, the pink granite structure appears to glow at sunset, but in the love story that led to its being built, and the esteem with which the late Aga Khan III is held within the Islamic world. Three years before his death, in 1957, Aga Khan III chose the spot as his resting place. His third wife, French-born princess Yvonne Aga Khan, known as the Begum, was given the task of building the mausoleum. After consulting a British professor of Islamic architecture, a friend of her husband's, she took Cairo's Fat Mid Gishi Mosque and its Mirab, a niche in the wall of a mosque, as her inspiration. 4. Mosque of Ahmad ibn Tulun The monumental Mosque of Ahmad ibn Tulun is one of the few remnants from the classical Islamic period, when Abbasid caliphs ruled the Islamic world from their capital Samarra in Iraq. The governor who built the mosque declared his independence in 868 and founded the short-lived Tulunid dynasty. When the Abbasids reconquered Egypt in 905, they left nothing standing save for Ibn Tulun. Over the centuries the mosque, Cairo's oldest, having been completed in 879, has served as a caravanserai, or traveler's inn, as well as a hideout for body snatchers. 5. Temple of Hatshepsut Queen Hatshepsut was the fifth pharaoh of the 18th dynasty of ancient Egypt. She founded a vast number of buildings during her reign, the most spectacular of which is her own funerary temple at Deir el-Bahari, a site on the west bank of the Nile opposite Luxor. It is positioned in a straight line from the tomb she commissioned for herself in the Valley of the Kings that lies on the other side of the mountain. Archaeologists estimate that it took 15 years to build the temple. The focal point of the temple is the Jiza Jiseru, or the Sublime of Sublimes, which consists of three elegant colonnaded terraces standing 97 feet, 29.5 meters, high and dramatically built into a high mountain face that rises above it. 6. Hamdi Sif al Nasser Rest House. Built in 1942 and expanded in 1945, the Hamdi Sif al Nasser Rest House is a family home in Al Fayyum. It is the work of one of Egypt's most important architects, 
Hassan Fathi. Fathi was an Islamic revivalist who advocated the adaptation of existing Egyptian Mamluk, Karin, and Nubian styles. He pioneered the use of elements such as the Malkuf, Windcatcher, Shukshaker, Lantern Dome, and Mashrabiya, wooden lattice screen, which he combined with mud brick construction for distinctive, economical, and environmentally friendly structures in keeping with tradition. His promotion of this type of mud brick architecture earned him the nickname the Barefoot Architect. 7. Great Pyramid of Khufu The Great Pyramid of Khufu is the largest and most northerly of the three famous pyramids at Giza, and the only one of the seven wonders of the world left standing today. As the largest pyramid ever built, it is a wonder mainly because of its sheer scale and the incredible precision with which the building work was executed. It is assumed to be the burial place of Egyptian pharaoh Khufu, who ruled 2589-66 BCE, but only an empty sarcophagus has been found. Designed by Khufu's cousin Hamon, the pyramid originally stood 482 feet, 147 meters, high with four equal sides each measuring 755 feet, 230 meters. The giant, stepped sides were originally covered with highly polished limestone casing stones. When in place, these stones, weighing some 15 tons apiece and slotted together with unerring accuracy, would have lent sheen to the structure in the sun. 8. Luxor Temple The Luxor Temple is an ancient Egyptian temple complex that lies on the east bank of the Nile, at what is now called Luxor and what was the ancient city of Thebes. It was dedicated to the Theban triad of gods, Amun, his wife Mut, and their sunkens, and was built on the site of a smaller middle kingdom structure for the god Amun. The earliest parts of the temple existing today date from 1408 BCE and were built during the reign of Amenhotep III. Access to the temple is via the Avenue of Sphinxes, which once stretched the 1.86 miles, 3 kilometers, from the Luxor Temple to the Temple of Karnak in the north. A 78-foot-high, 24-meters, obelisk built by Ramesses II in 1300 BCE lies at the end of the avenue at the entrance to the temple. Originally there were two obelisks, but the second was given to Francis King Louis-Philippe in 1829 and now stands in the Place de la Concorde in Paris. New Gorna New Gorna is an uncompleted housing project in Luxor from the 1940s that was created to relocate the villagers of Old Gorna, who economically sustained their community by looting local pharaonic tombs, much to the displeasure of the Egyptian Department of Antiquities, who wanted to move the 7,000 locals away from the area. Hassan Fathi, an architect noted for his rural housing and traditional methods, was hired to design the new village on a site 50 miles, 80 kilometers, away. According to Fathi's plan, each of the five tribes of Old Gorna would live in their own zone of the new village. Large public central spaces would lead to smaller courtyards and narrow alleys would wind their way back to the private area of family home. Fathi designed an agricultural marketplace, hotel, and craft market which he hoped would give the villagers new sources of income. Thanks for watching request you to subscribe the channel.